Welcome to the CCE Tompkins webpage tutorials. In this video, you will learn about finding photos for use in your pages. Finding photos to display on your web pages can be a little tricky. As I'm sure you know, it can be a copyright violation to display any photo that you do not own or do not have express permissions to display on your page. You must always check the copyright status of a photo and the permissions before using it. Just because it is out there on the web somewhere does not make it okay for you to use. For example, let's pretend I want an image of a Ninja Turtle. My first instinct is to do a Google search to see what types of images there are. Let's say I really like this particular image. Google says this image may be subject to a copyright. Well, let's try and find out more information about where this image comes from. It appears to be used in some sort of blog article. This person may be using this photo illegally to begin with. If there is any doubt over the source of the photo or whether or not there is a copyright on the photo, don't use it but I would not feel safe using this photo. There are some websites which search photos in the public domain or photos that you can use legally without obtaining permissions. Wikimedia Commons is one such website. All of the photos you find on here are in the public domain and you can use them. You can also purchase photos for use through professional stock photo sites. iStockphoto.com is one such site. This is, it is a very good and inexpensive, reputable source for quality photos. If you need help doing this, please see Sandy Rep. Another option is to take your own photos. This is one of the best options, in a sense, because it represents our community and there is no concern about copyright violations. If you choose to do this, just make sure you obtain permissions from any people displayed in your photos before using them, most especially children. Let's take a moment to review the different methods for finding photos to use for your site. You can use an image search engine and check permissions. You can use a public domain search engine. You can purchase photos and you can take your own photo. In this video, you have learned about photo copyright violations and methods you can use to avoid them. For information about altering photos, please watch the Working with Photos tutorial. For more information about creating and editing our web pages, please refer to the other tutorials. 